Hey guys, in today's video I'll be showing you the different ways to make your footage black and white in DaVinci Resolve and I'll also be showing you how to accent and key uh, certain colours in your footage so the rest of it is black and white and you only have like a certain colour or certain things showing in colour. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so we have our footage here in DaVinci Resolve 15. Now I'm going to be uh, showing you two shots here. So the first shot, I'm just going to be showing you how to like actually make in black and white and how to like uh, make the accent. And then in the second shot, I'll be showing you um, how to do it to so actually have it so um, only... So in your shot, if you have like multiple different uh, places where blue is, uh, you only hit show one place of blue, if that makes any sense. It makes sense when I show you it. So we get our footage, click on it, and then we go into the color tab here. So now I'm going to show you how to like make it go black and white. So pretty much when you uh, turn your footage into black and white, it's just getting rid of all the saturation, getting rid of all the color data that is in your shot, and just using the luminance data to like create your shot. So just go down here to search so sat, uh, type in not, and then it just makes it go all black and white. Now, but there is another way of doing it, and that is pretty much to go into the RGB mixer, and then to press uh, monochrome here, and that, and that again makes it go black and white. But the good thing with having it so uh, you're using the uh, RGB mixer, is that you're able to actually change um, the colours that are in that are in your shots, but also not in your shot. So if you have res there, you're able to light it, like make it lighter, make it darker, and you're just able to adjust your shots um, using these tabs here. So yeah, that's how I would like kind of do it. And then of course you can go into the curves as well and just um, use these to uh, color grade it as well and like color, not not color grade it because there's no color, but to like edit it and you're able to just like change these and like uh, you can change the um, contrast and everything using these. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to make an accent with your footage. Okay, so first of all, you mon monochrome it. So pretty much the way a, na a layer node works is that it's just the two uh, nodes being put on top of each other. So you can like uh, make a window or make something like this in uh, this um, in this tab, and then in this, and then it would be laid on top of the other one. Okay, so the way that you now make the accent is you go onto the qualifier. Now there are um, different ways of doing this. You can use the um, HSL version, which is the first one, or you can do the 3D one, which is just which is well, which is much easier. But I'll show you both ways. You pretty much go on here, and then you go onto your footage, footage, and then you just click on a certain point. Oh no. I did that on the wrong shot. Make sure that you're hot, that you're clicked onto the color shot to do it. Now the problem of having it so it's just um, doing uh, so it's just a single um, a single like qualifier is that well this happens pretty much you don't have a wider wider range of colors in it. So now you get so you can go down to here and just change it. You're able to make the width and pretty much the thing is that in the middle here. That is what the colors are, and then it has so it pretty much shows all the colors that are in there, and it also shows a slight bit of the colors on the outside where the triangles are. And you're able to adjust that with this, so you're able to make it wider, you're able to push this along a bit. So, quite a lot of them are there, and you're able to like change where the center is. So, you're able to make it wider, so, so, so it shows more colors. But the thing is, it goes into the green, which is not what we want, because we're trying to make it so it's only really the yellow that is shown. I'm going to make that a bit smaller. No, I'm going to make that a bit smaller because we have... Oh, it's a bit annoying because we have that orange bit there. If we just made this really wide, you can see, like, everything. But, yeah... So you just kind of mess around with this, and then you can also go into the saturation as well, and just kind of mess around with it, and also the luminance. Yeah. Now this does take quite a while to kind of like, not like get used to and kind of master. So it may take you a couple of tenths to make it look perfect. So we have a bit of a problem here. You can only see a certain like 
type of color. You can only see like this bit up here and like the specks of this bit down here. But you can't see like the rest of the flower. So just press Alt L again and that makes another color node. And then you're able to um, pretty much make another qualifier and that will be layered on top of it. So yeah, that is one way of doing it. Now the problem is that we have a bit of like this bit here, which is just, which is kind of just a bit of a pain because, um, well, um, this shot just has quite a lot of green and yellowy stuff in it. So we're going to have a bit of a problem with it. With, so we're going to have a bit of a problem with this. But now I'm going to show you the other way of um, qualifying it, and that is to use the 3D mode. Okay, so you click onto the fourth tab here, and then it, this this is the 3D one. Now it's the exactly the same. It's the, it's the same qualifier, but the thing is that you don't have to select a load of different uh, ones and like make a load of different nodes and layer them on top of each other. You just um, have this pen, and you're able to draw a load of like colors and just draw all the colors that you want in it. Now again with the shots. It's around, it's around a load of green things, which is going to be rather hard to do. But one way of um, just like refining, refining it a bit more is to um, is to go on to um, this magic pen thingamaji up here. I forgot what the proper name for it is. And then go on to black and white. And then you go on to clean white. And that just cleans it up a bit and just makes it look a bit better. But again... Um, now you can uh, go through this, you can take a load of time on this because, well, right now I'm rushing it so it's not going to look that good but if you kind of uh, spend a lot of time on it and do what like you can, trying to find the best places to do it, it's going to look much better. And again, when you do the qualifier, you're able to go back into the RGB mixer and just change all the colours that you want and just like uh, adjust it to how you want it to look like. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to our next tip that we have here. So now in this shot, we have two flowers here. We have one that is kind of like less flowery and like hasn't really come out yet. And then the other one is more like um, a flower. I don't know why I'm trying to describe flowers to you. But yeah, so this one is the one that we want to um, uh, have it shown. Okay, so you do the, exactly the same thing. You go on to uh, the RGB mixer, you press monochrome, and then you go on to Alt-L to add, oh no, I just, Alt-L, and then you, uh, to add a layer uh, node, and then on the layer node, you uh, qualify it. Now this shot's gonna be a bit difficult because we have this bit here, which is gonna annoy me a bit, but the good thing is that with these flowers is that the colours are slightly different, like this one is just much more like brighter and more yellowy and this one's a bit less yellowy, so that's going to make it much uh, easier for us. Okay, so uh, there we have it, that's kind of like a good, it has all the uh, colours that I want in it for the flower and there's no like grey parts in the flower itself. But now this is where you do a, a different thing that I haven't shown you before and pretty much you just create a window. Now what this is, is pretty much it's pretty much a window. You put, it's rather like easy to explain, but um, as you can see over here on the um, uh, nodes, you can see that it's just a window into this node. So um, it's rather hard to explain, but it is a window pretty much. So all the colour things that I have adjusted and with the qualifier that are outside of the circle aren't going to be showed, aren't going to be shows. But the things that are inside the circle are, is going to be shows, which pretty much just allow us to, um, uh, which pretty much allows us to like isolate more of the shots so we don't have this annoying flower over here. And then you just adjust the size of this. Now I don't want it that big because I don't want much in here. And then you're just trying to make it as close to the shape of the flower as possible. Now you can use different windows here. You could use a polygon one, which just is a square. And then you can like um, make any shape out of it that you want. And that may actually be best for this type of shot. Uh, but because I don't have much time to do this, um, I'm just going to use... Um, a circle one and like it's not going to be the best there's still going to be like a couple colors that aren't in it and that are in it that shouldn't be in it 
but yeah, I'll try my best in my short amount of time that I have. So with the window, you're able to uh, put it over the thing that you want in the shot, but also you're able to put it over the thing that you don't want in the shot. So if you only have, if you have like, one thing you want in the shot, and two things that you don't want in the shot, it's just much more, um, it's much more easier to uh, cover up the thing that you do want. But if you have two things that you do want in the shot, but one thing that you don't want in the shot, it's much easier to uh, qualify, um, no not to qualify, to make a window of the thing that you don't want, and then you go down to here, um, and then you just inverse it. And then if you want, just for some fun, you're able to uh, change the colour of what's inside this window. But you can go into either uh, the RGB mixer and just change the colours of everything here. Or you're able to go onto the colour wheel and just um, like spin this guy around here. And like if you want it green, you can make it green. If you want it like pinky colour, you, uh, you can make it pinky colour. But probably the best way of doing it is just to change the hue. So you can have it really green, you can have it like blue, you can have it purpley, bluey colour, you can have it like orange, you can have pink, you can have it any colour that you want. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, I hope you found it interesting and I hope that it's actually taught you something that you have wanted to know, which is pretty much why you clicked on this video most likely. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful and you want more people to see it, uh, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe, we're right now on 141 subscribers and we're going to try and make 150 by the end of ne next month, but that probably won't happen. But let's try to make it happen. So like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.